Welcome to Tech Linked, the everything show. As long as everything uh, just means tech news. X, the everything app, has launched the beta version of its own TV app, so you can use your smart TV to watch your favorite X long form videos if that is indeed a thing that you have. In a previous life, Twitter already had a TV app, but it closed in 2018 because almost no one was using it. Now, this new app might theoretically be able to surpass its predecessor, but right now it, uh, it kind of sucks. It's a fairly bare bones experience, even for a beta, and the default recommendations seem to all be from the same genre of angry man in a suit yells at clouds. And there's only so many suits slash clouds. <laughs> the rollout is somewhat awkwardly timed with the Brazilian Supreme Court deciding to uphold the decision of one justice to block the video platform of the future countrywide. Elon Musk, of course, has been in a months long spat with one particular Supreme Court justice over X's refusal to suspend suspected disinformation accounts while they're under investigation. Starlink initially refused to block its sister company on the grounds that Brazil had illegally frozen its assets to pay for X's $3 million in outstanding fines, but they have now relented. Luckily, SpaceX doesn't have any launch sites in the country, or local officials would probably put a boot on a Falcon 9 rocket. Just push it over. It landed many times. Can't wait to upload our videos on Xtube. Sounds hot. Intel has finally launched its Core Ultra 200V Lunar Lake mobile processors. Intel is boasting a 30% improvement in gaming performance over previous gen and extreme energy efficiency, and that's the real draw here. Dell's new 200V powered XPS 13 laptop can apparently stream video for up to 26 hours though that's just for the low resolution model. Asus is launching a core ultra powered NUC mini PC, which for some reason comes with a dedicated co-pilot button on the front. Just in case the one on your keyboard isn't enough. Honestly, I can't wait until Microsoft fully loses its mind and adds a dedicated co-pilot button to the monitor and mouse too. Put them everywhere, why not? Show them to your friends. Put a co-pilot button on it. Frankly, these new chips can't come soon enough, especially because Intel is apparently running low on Core i9 3900K and 4900K chips, most likely because of an avalanche of RMA requests. This has led to a shipping backlog of three to four weeks in some parts of the US. In other Intel news, according to Reuters, the company's contract manufacturing business has hit a major setback as their 18A silicon wafers have failed to pass quality tests set by one of their clients, Broadcom. Altogether, this explains the company's decision to ritually sacrifice CEO Pat Gelsinger on the ceremonial sun altar at their Santa Clara headquarters. Won't do much for silicon, but the maize production, gonna be great. The crops? Yeah. <laughs> crops are popping off. You know how sometimes it feels like your phone must be listening to you? Crazy, right? Well, maybe not. Uh, in a recent pitch deck to potential customers, Cox Media Group claimed it can listen to users via their smartphone's microphone for use in targeted advertisements. Okay, Cox Media Group claims that this active listening software, which makes it sound like a Attentive partner. <laughs> Tell me your feelings so I can recommend you a flavor of Cheeto. Cox Media Group claims this uh, uses AI to capture real time intent data by listening to your conversations. Our conversations? Everyone's. <laughs> Elsewhere in the pitch deck, Cox claims Amazon, Facebook, and Google among its current clients, though it's unclear whether any of them used this quite literal spyware. Of course they did. Meta acknowledged the partnership but explicitly denied ever using its users' microphones to listen in on users. We used different microphones. <laughs> like what? Amazon also denied participating in this program, while Google simply removed Cox from the site that lists its partners after being reached for contact by 404 Media. It's a bit like finding out that your boyfriend robbed a Chuck E. Cheese and responding by re-uploading the exact same profile picture you had before, but slightly cropped in just enough to cut his face out of the photo. And his name is Cox. I never had a boyfriend, what do you mean? But you're gonna wanna take a photo of our sponsor, Drop, and their CST M80 10 keyless keyboard. It's got a plethora of customization options thanks to its decorative top case that fits magnetically and seamlessly onto the keyboard, giving you the ability to choose from which color goes 
goes best with your fingies. You can also pick up different keyboard weights and switch plates to tailor your typing experience. And of course, <laughs> of course, it features hot swappable switches, you know. It's got RGB and supports QMK, VIA, and VIAL. Learn more about the Drop CST M80 at the link below. We swear it's not a grenade. <laughs> it is a tale long told that whoever should reunite the five quick bits will be granted one wish. So, wish away. But no take backsies. But we only have four of them. Uh, Some police are towing Teslas that they believe have witnessed crimes. According to a report by the San Francisco Chronicle, at least three times between July and August of this year, law enforcement in Oakland, California obtained warrants to tow Teslas that were parked near potential crime scenes. They've seen too much. The hope being that one of the vehicle's many cameras captured video evidence. There are unfortunately some downsides to this, like the owner of one of these Teslas going to the parking lot and discovering that they no longer have a vehicle. It'll be awkward when they call the cops to report it as stolen. Hello officer, wait, you have it. Look, we're all trying to find the guy who did this. Microsoft has confirmed that Copilot Plus features will be coming to AMD Ryzen AI 300 and Intel 200V powered laptops this November. That means that Team Red and Blue enthusiasts will also be forced to emotionally prepare for the relaunch of Windows Recall. Windows users were initially excited when a new optional update added the ability to uninstall the controversial feature, but Microsoft told The Verge, ah, that, that was a bug, that was, whoops. Microsoft would not say if the ability to uninstall recall would be added, an ironic lack of transparency, since we're discussing a feature that basically watches everything you do on your computer. Qualcomm has filled out their Snapdragon X series chip lineup with four more SKUs, two eight core and two 10 core Snapdragon X Plus models. The biggest thing the 12 core Snapdragon X Elite chips were criticized for is their graphics performance. So Qualcomm made the graphics on these chips even weaker. However, Qualcomm says they all maintain the same 45 tops of NPU performance and laptops with the bottom tier 8 core X plus will start at a cheaper price of 800 bucks. Qualcomm started with strong claims around their new chips and the messaging has just become weaker and weaker. I can't wait for the six core Snapdragon X still plus. It's still plus though. Plus it minus. <laughs> Shouldn't you just call it X? No, 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 no. <laughs> No, it's the X plus minus. And some people are criticizing Oprah Winfrey because her upcoming AI special seems a little one-sided. In a promo, Winfrey claims she is speaking to some of America's leading experts on AI, like Bill Gates, a person who used to write software. <laughs> and Sam Altman, the CEO of an AI company who doesn't know how to build an AI himself. Naturally, Altman will be breaking down how AI works in layman's terms. Maybe these are just the sexy names and there will be actual scientists there. I'm sure this will be a meaningful discussion into the minutia of artificial intelligence, brought to us by the woman who gave doctors Phil and Oz to the world. <laughs> And look how that turned out. <laughs> but we just wanted to give you some tech news. So come on back Friday when uh, we have more. It's, we don't, it's gone now. <laughs>